I, Leo, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you a weekly tarot reading for the week of September 13th to the 19th, 2021. And I do want to take this moment to thank you genuinely for joining me, but I also want to remind you as well uh, to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. So we're going to begin by pulling a couple messages from the Green Witch Oracle deck. And as I do the initial shuffling, keep in mind that this is a general intuitive weekly read for the sign of my lovely Leos, my lovely lions. So take what resonates, leave a dozen for somebody else, and do make sure to check out the other placements within your chart, uh, your chart for more messages, excuse me. Uh, so let's begin. For Leo, for the week of the 13th to the 19th, 2021. All right, let's see how many I feel the need to pull. Okay, victory, communication, and love. And for some reason, when I pulled up victory, I thought it was a love card. Maybe due to the coloring. But also a level of healing taking place throughout the week. Okay. But with victory, I truly feel as if uh, there's a victory taking place with a new beginning that you're moving towards. Or just a victory within a current job or situation or a project or business you've been working towards. Feeling like you're finally making an immense amount of progress in a direction that you feel proud about, okay? And uh, maybe, again, a victory in love, because we have the love card, and again, I thought it was uh, this card. And so I feel like there's a big focus throughout the week on uh, love for Leos, or for some of you, a lack of which, but it feels more so a, a victory in that category. Some of you sorting through or kind of weighing out options, feeling like for the first time in a while you have several options when it comes to dating, or you feeling that you're gaining a level of victory when it comes to romance within an existing connection. That's amazing. Or you may just simply feel that as you're feeling victorious in general throughout the week, you're feeling very loved by those uh, that you're surrounded by. All right? And then we have communication, which definitely I feel ties into the other two cards as well. Feeling like there's a focus and a push for you to communicate very clearly and effectively um, when sharing your stories, getting your voice out there, but, you know, heading towards that level of victory, however it pertains to you. But when it comes to your loved ones and who you're trying to wrap yourself up with or continue to do so when it comes to dating and feeling like even when things become a little bit noisy or a little bit ir irritating throughout the week, to still communicate clearly and get your voice out there and um, stay calm, cool, and collected, okay? So bear with the background noise, although it was very much purposeful. Um, we are going to continue by pulling five tarot cards for the week from the Gilded Tarot Rail deck. Let's do some shuffling for this. For my lovely Leos to continue for the week of the 13th to the 19th. Okay, I'm gonna keep shuffling and pull the remaining four right from the top. Okay, interesting. So we're beginning the five card spread with the hanging man. So it feels like you make your way throughout the week and at times you want to sort of expect the worst or you, at times you feel as if other people around you are expecting the worst when it comes to a change you're trying to implement or move towards. Feeling like you, at times when you're moving towards the success of a business, a project or a job, feeling or even a relationship, feeling like at times the obstacles or the progress you're making stalls or you take a few steps back. And so therefore you can't help but expect the worst. I need a push from the universe to adjust your perspective when need be throughout the week to expect the victory that you deserve. And then as soon as you start to expect it, you get a taste of it. Seeing a lot of angel numbers, uh, we have the number 44 out. Um, I feel like a lot of you will be dealing with a Taurus throughout the week in one way, shape or form. And with the Queen of Swords, and it feels like there's a situation that's been keeping you trapped to a certain extent, or you feel like you've been just sort of uh, hanging around in that situation for the time being, whether it's to go through a bit of healing or it's just a temporary situation, you're preparing for the release of that or to move on to something bigger and better. Even if that doesn't feel perfect uh, where you're moving, it just feels like it's a stepping stone towards what you deserve. But with the Queen of Swords, there's points throughout the week where you're going to be put in a situation uh, to reassess 
who and what is healthy for you or has a place with you as you move towards this level of victory, towards new love, even if it's an existing connection, uh, towards new changes and adjustments once again. Feeling like there's, at times of the week, even if you're feeling a little bit negative or down, there's this level of hope that will just randomly come over you and it's like, okay, I'm a Leo, I can do this. I can do this, regardless of what placement you have within your chart. And don't forget, I'm a Leo son, so I get you to uh, the furthest extent. Feeling like a lot of you will wrap yourself up with animals or feel as if they're very drawn to you for one reason or another. Utilize it to comfort you throughout the week. And then three of pentacles. So people are going to start to notice you in interesting ways throughout the week where uh, if it's family members, coworkers, friends, acquaintances, even just people on social media, or some of you that's part of your work, and people noticing how hard you are working to improve your life, to move towards a level of victory and success, and just feeling like even your love life starting to blossom in interesting ways is drawing in a level of attention and recognition. And people being like, okay, well, if Leo can overcome all of the difficulties and obstacles they've been uh, dealing with recently, and feels like for a long time coming, then it sort of inspires other people around you and in your life to do what's right for them. And it's like, yeah, damn right, I'm a Leo, I can do this. And it just feels like a lot of you are sort of showing off a level of hard work and dedication with a project or a business or a job, or just feeling like you are creating something that means something to you and therefore inspires other people. Beautiful. You may feel very secretive about your love life or certain changes uh, or options you're considering at this time. Don't feel bad about that, okay? You just might feel kind of, uh, this. I feel like butterflies will come over you throughout the week level of romance may take place. Six of Pentacles. And as the week continues, you're going to find this level of abundance taking place uh, in random sort of increments in the form of love, in the form of romance, in the form of victory with your business project or job, in the form of a lot of communication on the phone, texting, emailing, social media, just hearing from people who you don't expect to, and meeting a lot of new interesting individuals that they intrigue you, some of which are like, not my type of person, but, you know, just again, weighing out the options and feeling like you have a lot to decide, right? Not even just with people, but being aligned to the hanged man, um, or the hanging man, excuse me, it just feels like you go from needing to adjust your perspective at certain points in the week to just getting abundance right after it. And then that sort of leaves you feeling truly abundant and uh, content about what your future entails and just feeling as if uh, speaking once again upon that situation that's left you a bit tied up or restricted to a certain extent even if it's not a hundred percent horrible it just feels like you're truly feeling abundant given the opportunity to move on to something bigger and better okay even if it's just a bit of a stepping stone but we're finishing off the spread with the king of swords and so you finish off the week or it feels like even more so throughout the week you are feeling very confident. There's this push from the universe to sit back in your throne as you make adjustments and changes. Doesn't mean you're not working hard and staying, you know, pretty busy, you know, knocking things off your to-do list and fulfilling obligations. But there's this level of sort of stern, serious confidence that comes over you at certain parts of the week, but especially at the end where you're like, I got this, you know, my future is going to be bright. And a lot of people doubted you along the way. And it's just like, it may make you a little bit emotional at certain points where you're like, things are going to work out. Don't you worry, right? And being aligned with the Queen of Swords, it just, all of which leads you to continue this sort of uh, reassessing process where you reassess who and what's coming with you uh, as you make your way towards this victory, success, love, and just a lot of communication once again. All right. So we are going to finish off this reading. And so there's also a focus on balance between your feminine and your masculine side throughout the week, given we have a queen and a king aligned. So let's finish off by pulling a message or two from the Find Your Happy deck. Haven't used this deck in a while. We do some initial shuffling here. What a great reading. For Leo to wrap up this weekly read. here. I feel abundant and live a rich life now. As well as I'm compassionate with myself, it is it takes time to heal. 
So there's this level of abundance and healing that takes place throughout the week as you might feel a bit emotional at times, but you truly are reminded that you deserve the level of abundance that is going to start flowing in as luck just feels truly on your side. All right, Leo. So I hope this reading was truly helpful. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I hope you have an amazing week and I'll see you next time. Bye, Leo.